What is going on guys? Uh, came into the shop today to do a couple little racy things to the Lexus. Um, hopefully we can get it done today in a timely manner. But I want to do some, some underglow on the Lexus just because it's one of those cars where I think it needs it. Um, the previous owner did have underglow on this car at one point, but it uh, no longer works. I don't know if it's wired up. I don't even know if it's still all there. But I went ahead and ordered some cheap stuff off Amazon. It was like 60 bucks. Um, I ordered two of them just because this thing is so fucking big that I think that I might need two kits. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, unbox this and I guess we'll see what we got. All right, so for now, I just unboxed one of them just because in case I don't need it, I'm going to go ahead and throw that on like the Miata or something. But anyways, this is the setup. Um, so it looks like we got a good amount of... Uh, leds here i wonder how good this double back tape sticks looks to be waterproof they say it's waterproof the reviews are pretty good i think yeah you know, i think like i said i think this was like 60 or 65 bucks um connectors look pretty good not too too bad um so this looks like if i wanted to wire it to a either a switched power or constant power or i could probably hook it up to this thing and run it off the cigarette lighter just go right there so that'd be pretty easy if i wanted to do it that way um i guess to a switch would be cool but this thing is a lot simpler if i have enough wire i'll go ahead and use this thing um pretty cool little remote one thing i didn't mention is i also got these cheapo little rock lights um not exactly sure if i'm going to use them yet but i was thinking it'd be kind of cool to shove a couple of these in the engine bay just to um I mean, you know, it'd be kind of cool just to have some light in the engine bay. Yeah, really no reason to, but you know, if I had a couple in each corner or maybe somehow mod these to go on the hood, something like that, you know, double back up, run the wire nice and nice and clean. Or, um, I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe just a couple blind, yeah, maybe back here, but this is for maybe another time maybe i'll throw these on my truck or in the footwells or something i don't know but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get this thing jacked up and we're gonna start with i guess seeing where we're gonna take those things to so i got the back of the car jacked up kind of gonna do it in sections at a time um <clears throat> right here i went ahead and can't really see too well but i put it on the bumper support just because this is too small and it's a long strip so I figured it's in a spot where it's gonna project its light through you know through this little gap right here so I think I'll be all right I'm gonna go ahead and grab some zip ties and just zip tie it in some spots just so in case it decides to uh, not stick with this sick double-sided tape um, it's not gonna fall off and I'm not gonna waste 60 bucks but this is a long cable right here as you can see so now I'm gonna go ahead and just start routing this so I can um, get everything kind of just figured out. There's a couple longer ones for the sides of the car. That's these right here. And then this is another front. But uh, I guess we'll just keep going. Currently I got this side taped up, um, the back taped up, and this side ran. Um, <clears throat> still figuring out the way I'm going to route all the wires, but, uh, for now I have it coming up right through like the fuel pump area. So that's like the main harness going down. Um, there's three connections on that side, one on this side, as you can see, got to go through like the grommet. Um, I'm obviously going to tidy all this stuff up. As you can see it, the car used to have underglow. But uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work anymore, and none of it's actually there, just the wiring. But anyways, oh, it looks like it could work with my shit. But I'm going to go ahead and try and run the front. All right, guys, so I just completed the uh, the underglow setup. Um, so I had to double-sided tape it to the bumper. I don't know if you can see it, but it's on there. Um, the wire is just dangling just because the bumper is not secure, so I didn't secure that yet. But I got it ran right through the firewall. I got everything hidden nice and uh, nice and clean.
everything's tucked, everything's zip tied. Uh, I didn't throw the seat back in yet, just uh, in case I needed to mess with the fuel pump in the future. Um, nothing in the trunk area yet, but I uh, do plan on making like a little hardwood floor type deal. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn the auxiliary on. Got this cool little remote. Look at this. Yeah. So this is like a little bit of a cheaper. Can't play music off of this, but you know, I can do solid colors. I can do solid colors. White, white's kinda, oh, that's kinda dope. You know, typical stuff. And then you got the jumping, the strobes, got some fades. Um, whatever this is, different, uh, I don't know. I don't know if these are maybe the, for like the music and maybe I have to like Bluetooth it. Um, didn't really look at the directions, but it's a pretty sick setup. Gotta get my thumbnail for this thing. Yeah, there we go. But uh, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. It's a quick little video. Um, I will put the link to these um, set, to this like little underglow kit. I think it was like 65 bucks, so it's super cheap, super simple to install. Everything's got like quick connects. Um, you can wire it directly into a switch signal, but I just did it off the cigarette lighter just in case um, it likes to um, drain the battery. I kinda wanna get another kit and just kind of like do one on the on the hood right there. I think it'd be pretty cool just projecting light down at the engine. But for the time being, um, I think I'm gonna take a look and see if I can maybe mount those rock lights into the wheel wells so the, the lights project out of the wheels. I think that'd be pretty cool. But go ahead and give this video a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, hopefully we can get this ECU back in time so we can uh, get this thing tuned and start ripping.